Hi, let's play with the latest PDF Fractal System in 3D Max. Let's create a larger thin box and rotate it a little and move it up. Okay, and now let's shader it. Open shader window, set number of shard to 500 and click on shader button. Now it's shattering the box, it's done. Uh, turn the color back to blue. And let's create a fracture body for the box. Click on create, okay. It's done. You can see the fragments there. And compute dynamics for breaking the, the box. Simulate on options, click on start. Okay, it is breaking when hitting the ground. Let's stop this and we can play back, back and forth the keys. Okay, nice how this works. Uh, well, this is fracture bodies. Switch on the view. You can see uh, white areas and blue areas. White areas means uh, uh, easy to break, and blue areas means uh, uh, solid areas. So you can uh, play with the distribution of white areas uh, across the object to get different fracture results. For instance, now let's create a, only a one mine crack in this uh, object. Let's compute again. Okay, here, compute. And you can see how now only one mine crack is creating in the middle of the box and then other secondary cracks appear when the box is uh, hitting the ground. So you see how you get a completely different result just by tweaking one parameter. Let, uh, you can make it very brittle, for instance, reducing hardness. Now, when computing, we get the box uh, breaking very, very easily because it is a, a weak object now. Okay, just tweaking the hardness parameter. All we are doing in real time computation. And now uh, let's set parameters for stone like uh, fracturing. This is hardness about 50 units and crystallize about 40 units. And compute again uh, the final uh, simulation. You can see how the box breaks now more like a, a, a stone will do. Okay. Let's play back the keys. Nice. And well, fracture bodies are very, uh, are like rigid bodies, but they breaks. So are much more powerful in which you can do with them. For instance, we can hit a fracture object with another uh, keyframe it object to, to break it. Now create a sphere here which is animated and uh, set it in dynamics, clicking auto and now Disable gravity just to uh, strengthen the effect of the of the impact with the ball. And compute dynamics again. Okay, you can see now how it is breaking the box. And enable gravity to make the uh, box uh, fall. Now. Now compute uh, the whole thing. I play back the whole thing. 
okay you can see how the ball uh, the box breaks just when where the ball hits okay and we can make uh, fracture bodies as uh, any other PDI object you, we can add it uh, initial velocity, initial spin, mass, friction, bounciness for instance uh, let's add, uh, let's play with uh, a spin, initial spin let's add an uh, initial spin to the, to the box okay and uh, compute dynamics again ah, it's too much, this is not what I was uh, looking for, so just reset it and set a, a, a value, a minor value in the seat axis. Now and compute again. Okay, nice. This is what I was uh, trying to do. Okay, now the box is uh, spinning before uh, being taken by the ball and then fall to the ground. You can see. Let's uh, make a different effect. Setting rotation now in the x axis and compute again. Okay, now it spins in a different way and uh, still being uh, breaking while, while the ball hit on the surface of the object and with the ground. Okay, and we can. Uh, at any moment, uh, add uh, more objects to the scene. For instance, now let's add a large cylinder here, set it as auto and passive, as an obstacle for the box, and uh, let's compute again, set again the uh, spin in the seat axis, and now compute again dynamics with the new obstacle okay now it's based on the obstacle and ah, the sphere uh, is uh, it's not hitting the, the box just fixing this uh, let's uh, move down the sphere okay ah, I have I have forgot I have to reset the volume volume for the box after moving it okay now it's fine and let's compute dynamics again okay it is breaking and uh, moving by gravity let's play back the keys final keys again okay and this is uh, some of what you can do with pull on it in 3D Max. Uh, see you.